Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 1.1.3.5 Configuring IP version 4 and IP version 6 interfaces. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Routing and Switching Essentials version 6 Cisco Network and Academy curriculum. Now in this particular lab assignment as you see over here we've got our topology on the left side all right, everything is operating in, um, well, minus that that I highlighted, but here, everything to the left of the internet uh, cloud, R1, SW1, SW2, PC2, PC1, all are operating in IP version 4. Everything to the right of the internet cloud is operating, and that includes R2, SW3, SW4, PC3, PC4, all of those are operating in IP version 6. So remember the differences there from our um, previous class or the first Cisco uh, Introduction to Networks class. And then we've got a dual stack server here that's running IP version 6 and IP version 4. So it can contact with, uh, get in contact with both networks. Okay. So what we want to do here is um, it tells you your passwords, initial passwords for the user exec password is Cisco. The user uh, or the privileged exec password is class. So we know those. Um, that's pretty standard. Uh, so what we're going to do is use our address and table to configure the rest of this network, especially where we see red, right? We want to configure that. So we want to go in first. Um, let's go into R1. This is going to be IP version 4, remember. So our password is Cisco. And remember, you don't see it typed. Next password is class. And let's go to configuration mode. So while we're in configuration re mode, remember, we want to look at what our interfaces are. And you can always hover your mouse over each one of these. G00 is the one that is leading to SW1. G01 is the one leading to SW2. So let's configure G00 first. Interface G00. IP add 172.16.20.1. I'm just getting that straight from this address and table right here. Okay. Next, we're going to put our subnet mask. Remember, our subnet mask tells us how large a network is. So I can tell from this one that my network for uh, that spans off of G00 up there to SW1 and PC1. Remember, every interface on a router kind of uh, spawns or um, creates a, a new subnet off to itself, a little network. Um, so that dot .128 subnet mask right here tells me that this network right here starts at 20.0 and then it ends at uh, 20.127. My usable or everything in between that, which is dot one to dot one twenty six. Okay. And again, I can tell that all from this subnet mask and how we did our subnetting in our first class. Okay. Now I always uh, set a description, so I might put like, and this is not graded, uh, but the descript the IP address and subnet mask are. But the description I could put uh, connection to SW one. So that way, when I go back, I can know exactly where that that port leads without having to go trace cables and stuff in a real world environment or even click around here in packet tracer okay so then I'm gonna do no shutdown and that will turn my interface on and you see it turned to green now I'm gonna go do interface g01 IP add 172.16.20.129 255.255.255.128 again I can tell from that subnet mask in this one my network that goes down to SW2 and PC2 that network there it spans from 20.128 which would be the first uh, address my network address but remember we can't use that for any physical device and so it'll go from 20.128 to 20.255 um, and if you count those out, that'll be 128 addresses. So um, again, you can't use the first and last. So the first usable is dot 129 here that they've used. So they've got that in there. Um, and again here, I'm gonna set a description connection to SW2. Oops. Help if I spell description right. Uh, and then do no shut or no shutdown. And you can exit back out. So I've got all of that on and it is operational. Now over here to the other side of the network, okay, we want to help R2 
be able to turn on its interfaces to G00 up there at the top and G01 down here at the bottom. Now, that you configure these a little bit differently. Password is still Cisco in class. We're still going to go to configuration mode. But remember here, uh, we want to turn on um, IP version 6 routing. So we do IPv6 unicast dash routing. That will allow us to be able to type IP version 6 commands. If you don't, then it'll tell you to go back and turn it on, basically. I won't give you that in so many words, but it'll tell you you know you need to go turn that on so that's how you do that so now we're going to go to interface g00 and we're going to do ipv6 add so remember ip add it assumes is ip version 4 usually your commands if you just put v6 in there then it will um kind of move over to ipv6 so ipv6 add and then we're going to do 2001 and we're going to get that right from this address and table here so 2001 db or colon remember these are separated by colons c zero de that is not an o okay 12 colon colon one all right forward slash 64 you can also copy and then use the paste button here and it'll paste it in there make sure you've got the correct one uh, but that is a zero and not an o um, all right, now you could do the same thing, description, connection to SW3, and no shut. Okay. Now we're going to go to the other one, interface G01, and I'm going to do IPv6 add. Okay. And then description. I'm going to do connection to SW4, because that's where it's going, and then no shut as well. All right, now, so we've got all the connections from the routers to the switches going um, in between here. Remember, these are our default gateways for our entire network, so those are important. Now we've got to go configure the end devices. So let's go handle the IP version 4 network first. Okay, under desktop, we want to consult our address and table again. PC1 has the IP address. Let me make this a little smaller if I can. All right, has an IP address of 172.16.20.10. Subnet mask is 255.255.255.128. And my default gateway, remember, is whatever address is con is configured on my router to help me get outside of my subnet or my small network there, okay? So that 20.1 is going to be my default gateway. PC2, 172.16.20.10. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot one twenty eight one seven two dot sixteen dot twenty dot one twenty nine. Same deal there. Okay. Now remember this that that address needs to be a usable address in that range. Remember we said G zero zero spans from twenty dot zero to twenty dot one twenty seven. Can't use twenty dot zero. Can't use twenty dot one twenty seven because that's your network and broadcast address. But you can use everything in between. So you could just choose anything really. In between there, uh, your default gateway does need to match that address, though. Okay, can't just choose anything there. Now um, we've got those configured. Now let's go over to PC3 and PC4. We're going to configure those for IP version six. So that'll be down here at the bottom half. Okay, and again, I'm going to copy and paste uh, this for the PCs. Okay, and now the forward slash is here. So if you try to put the forward slash right up on this address here, it's going to give you an error. The forward slash is actually right after this symbol here, and you just do 64 there. Okay, the link, uh, the default gateway, okay, we're going to put here. Okay, so FE80 colon colon 2. Make sure you do that. And then we'll repeat the same thing for PC4. Desktop IP configuration. Copy and paste that. 
64. And remember with, with IP version 6, we're really not concerned with saving addresses because we have so many addresses available in every subnet. Like even the smallest subnet has a lot, thousands of addresses. Okay. But we're not concerned with that because there's so many. All right. Now that gives us 100 out of 100. Hopefully that reviewed how to get in there and configure some interfaces, especially for IP version 6 and IP version 4. We'll be using both a lot this semester when we're talking about routing protocols and how to get from one place to another. OK, so we're going to kind of continue. This is like the review section in chapter one. And then we're going to kind of continue to grow our network um, and be able to manage that as we go throughout the semester for IP version 4 and IP version 6. So, six, so stay tuned to those future configuration videos.